Okay, we're going to go over the parts that come in the display slider. You have 14 inserts here are used when you're not using your, your jewelry trays themselves. I'll move them out of the way. You have two sides. There's a right and a left. As you can see, the front of it, I'm going to hand the camera off. This is the front edge. Usually because when people come up to your table, they push the drawers away from them. Otherwise, if you have it the other way, you have a tendency of people leaning on them and tipping the thing over. People love to lean on things. So this is going to be, if you're looking at it from the front, the right front side. The second one is here, which is the left front side. Now to get a close-up before we start assembling these, this angle piece right here, how that hooks together is you're going to put it over, if our cameraman can, woman can get closer, it's going to slide in just like this and together. So you don't want this over it like this. They both need to, be, the flat pieces need to be behind the tabs of the corresponding front. Now, this is a front or back piece. It's the small, narrow, wooden pieces. There's two of them. Then this here is for your upper tray here. And how it works is it's, if you put it together like so, you see these holes, you twist it, and so they're pointed outward, and we will show you how to assemble it. The next piece is the cross piece. These here, these knobs, will go into these holes. So we'll show you how that is. This is a cross support brace. There's two of them, and they're sm the smallest ones of the one-by-ones. These are one by one and a half. These are your front cross sections and back cross sections. And again, these are your one by one. These are your cross supports. So we're going to show you how to assemble this. We'll move these inserts out of the way for a moment. You take a narrow front or back however you wish to look at it set it on your table this be in your table now you can grab your side piece here which this happens to be the right front side piece the drawers may slide back on you you line it up once they're lined up just push down and it will lock together now, at this point, I would line it up to the front edge of your table, so it's about an inch back from the front edge of your table on here. Now, from that point, you can grab your other piece, which can be considered your back piece, set it on your table, lift it up, bring it over, make sure the tabs Go over the flat pieces and push it down. Now you have half of it built of your framework. You come over, you grab your other side piece, and again, you're going to slide it out, get it started on that side, grab it on this side, push it in, push everything tight together, and just drop it down. Give it a nice firm push down. Now, if this drawer, if your table is not level enough, this piece will come up and interfere with this drawer. So if this drawer hits right here, it comes back and goes, oh, doesn't want to go back any further. All you do is pick up on your side piece, put a little piece of paper, a business card under this back corner, and then take this piece and just give it a little push down. 
which will give you some more room here. The tolerances are quite tight on this and it's to try to make it stiff and sturdy. So now this is what you have. Your outside of your display is now set up. From this point, we're going to grab your long pieces. This unit, by chance, one side is polished, one side is not polished. The pieces are one inch by one and a half. The one and a half always goes down. The one inch always goes points up. So if you take this piece, this being the polished piece, it slides in and pull it forward. And we just keep doing this five more times. And again, and as you notice, it's one and a half inches back, one inch thick. Okay, now we're on our unpolished pieces. We're going to do the same thing. Slide them in. Slide them in. So now you have all your cross sections put in. Now you grab your 16 one by one. They're one inch by one inch angle. And what they do is you're going to take two of them and you're going to make a T. So see how it looks like that? That's not right. You want to make it look like a T. I'll flip it upside down. So you'll put it. Make it into a T, set it in the middle. Now from this point, you can continue adding these in, but I want to just take a minute. From this point, you can take your jewelry boxes, you push it on the edge, and you just slide them over to fit. So there's your two jewelry boxes, trays. There's the third one. There's the fourth one, and you, this drawer is ready to go. It is done. Now, let's say you wanted to only put two of them in there, and you wanted to use one of the flat sheets to display a necklace on. All you do is set it in there. Now you have a place, a surface to put something flat if you did not want to keep it in your jewelry trays. So we're going to take this back out. And finish showing you the assembly of it. Since we have these, we're going to just push these back a little bit. I just put them in here, flip them over. You know, it, they're not breakable, so just keep turning them into T's. Flip them upside down and go with it. I make a T, make sure the T is then upside down, set it in the middle, and I push everything back. Make the T, push it back. Okay, now I'm going to insert... these pieces here. If I wasn't going to use them, I would not put them in there. I would just put the jewelry trays in there. Now you can put these white pieces in here, your base and your jewelry tray if you would like. But most people, they just have the open hole, they put the jewelry tray in it. So we will finish putting them together. I just pull them out, I put them together, there's only one way they go in, pull it out, this 
So if you can imagine this being the front of your table, I'm doing this all from the front. I do not do it from the back, it just seems to be a little clumsier. Okay, the last one, I'm not going to put the two slide, the two flat pieces into it just so I can show you the four trays. And now you could actually put, see it will not fit this way, it only fits this way. You can go that route. Or again, you put your four trays in. We're going to take this back out a minute. Okay, now to assemble the shelf. This is your shelf piece. You'll go, okay, if you turn it one way, it won't fit. If you swing them out the other way, it will. So what you do, this is your back piece. You pull them to you. So it looks like this. There's your little holes. You're going to push it out like this. Then there's screws attached right here. Just put the little mark, the slide onto it there. Slide there, pull it to you a little bit. It's mounted. You do not have to tighten these little screws. You take your cross brace. As you can see, there's a nub here and a nub here. Make it so the nub is hidden from the front. You will put it on one hole. Bring it over here. Now you may have to push your display in or out just a little bit. Now you have a square. Take your two little support pieces. Again, make a T. They are smaller than the bottom supports, so you cannot mix them up. Just set them in the middle. Now from here, again, you can use, put a this, uh, tray in here, but it's actually a little small. You can set your trays in it this way. And you can literally go all the way across with your, dis your trays if you would like. So it would look like that. But most people make it into a display surface so you can put your neck displays on it this way and display it. So when a customer comes up, this being the front, you'll have neck displays here or whatever you want for displays. Your product is here. And all they do is push it back and take a look at what is on the next shelf, push it back, so on and so forth. And it is, we found by selling these and using them for our own shows, if you keep them out, it then people don't sit here and try to grab and pull. Um, sometimes we stagger them like so, like that. But then, like I said, you still gotta get people to use them. So you technically have place here in the bottom for four trays, here is four trays. You can put four trays here, 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 four more here, and then again, if you would like, you can put four more trays along the top. That's it. Thank you.